going? Where are we going? We're going to we the garden. We're old. For an open day. Yeah, there's a wild. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> we've got a talk at 10.30 and then we've got workshops at 11.30. Mine starts at 11.30 for musical theatre and she's got acting. And then you're doing musical theatre after that as well. Probably. Got my costume and we're on our way now. <laughs> yeah. Um, the postcode is, are you ready? No, I'm not that, that quick, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Like obviously like Raja and we like all oh, the places are brilliant. But you look through like the people who are there and they all kinda of look like a bit similar and they've all kinda of come from like similar backgrounds. But like here, it's like they'll take they'll take you for your talent and they won't just take you for the way you look. <coughs> or how much money you've got. How much money you've got or like what We don't have on site accommodation. No, no drama schools do. Um, they okay. give you once you do if you get in, they give you a list of recommended accommodation. So Victoria Point. So the most students that come here live around Victoria? Yeah, Victoria points most students live in and then second year students tend to get a house. Yeah, it's quite a few in our course. What you were saying before, so you don't need lots of experience like in the industry to get in. Yeah. Right. You, don't need, like, you don't need to have been like, have all these credits to your name. I mean like obviously like some one of the guys who's leading to us today, he's on theatre performance. <coughs> he decided when he was 25 he wants to go into theatre, he studied engineering before that. Yeah. He had no background in theatre. The thing because our attitude is, I've said that drama schools don't like you to have agencies. Because obviously, yeah, see, I've got an agent, Pablo's got an agent, and it's just like, I mean, what do we do with that? Mention it. Like, like, tell yeah. them. Definitely tell them if you have an agent. They're not going to say, like, drop your agent, but if you don't have one, they'll kind of, like, not stay away from you, but they'll be like... How much it helps with like, your independence, then, and become an independent performer and stuff? Because it's quite different to college, yeah, obviously, because yeah. we get a lot of support. Yeah. You get support. Like, yeah. you do get support if you ask for it, obviously. Yeah. They want you to be independent. Yeah. They definitely do. And I'm in my second year now, and I've seen kind of the change of, like, how much support I got the first year to, like, how much they give it now. They still give you support, but they want. Um, in the third year, every course was like a showcase. So we go down to London. I don't know how to go. I think they go. I think they actually tour it. Yeah. We go along with to London. I think MT and dance too as well. Uh, we do a big showcase. Loads of agents. You do showcases up in Manchester as well, and you do loads of different shows. So you get exposed to like loads of different people. And you also do like show reels and stuff, yeah. which will send out. Is everybody entitled to share the finance like, and how do you um, go for like how much is it to obviously pay for the accommodation? I know it goes on quite a Every student is entitled to student finance, no matter what. No matter what your background is, no matter where you study, everybody is entitled to student finance. Um, so obviously because you guys, if you study outside of London, you'll get less, but that's just because of like London pricing and stuff. Yeah. So. Um, Depends on how much parents earn, depends on how much your accommodation is. Yeah. We've just had a theatre, musical theatre workshop. How did it go, Kat? It was really, really good, but it's tricky. Like even the warm up. I didn't up, think it was tricky. Tongue... Yes, you did. You looked at me and said you didn't get any of it. You thought it was tricky. I didn't get tricky. the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, part. exactly. The rest of it I did. No, the rest of it, like the song and stuff, because we had to learn a song like that. We got to go with it twice. One sec. I really like it. I didn't think I, I did. would, but I actually really like it. You didn't think you'd like it because it's in Manchester. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. I you'd judged think it. the further you go, the better it is. But, but it's, it's actually, not. It's it's good though if we come here because we can stay close to home as well. And we've got my free coffee. Um, it's over now. Musical theatre overall is really, really good. Um, I'm gonna run out this place. We're gonna live there. I mean, it's already decorated. I mean, guys, I don't even know if we've got in yet, so I might just be living in a bin somewhere <laughs> when I get rejected from university. Performance, because I decided that the acting course is boring and I'm too expressive for that. Yep. So talking to Debbie and getting an understanding about And you've changed your mind theater. as well. And I've changed my mind that I'm not going to uni. And I'm going to, I'm going to be a performer and I'm only looking at drama schools now. We did end up speaking to some of the lecturers there some more. Um, we spoke about coursework and how it's around 85 to 15% um, practical to theory you'll spend a lot they also have warm-ups that start at 9 15 in the morning till 9 45 and if you're late to the warm-up then you're banned from going to the rest of your lessons so attendance is a really really important thing the questions that i managed to actually get in this video were from students themselves and i feel like um it was really it was a really good opportunity to have a talk from the students because we get it from their perspective because teachers only see it from theirs but 
students are in our places and they're the ones that understand how the course works the most. So in the musical theatre workshop we um, had a bit of a talk, then we had a warm up, um, a vocal warm up and learnt some new, um, new tricks, learnt a song so then we were given sheet music and we went through it twice and then we had to do it without the lyrics. Um, it was really good, it was a short song and we worked a bit on harmonies as well. Another really important thing that he told us was we can't stand with our hands crossed or touching or anything like that, like they have to be by your sides because if you have your hands like that during rehearsals it's going to become a habit when you're on stage. Now the lecturer that we actually had for this workshop has done a lot in the industry, he's travelled on Broadway shows, his last big show was in 2002. I didn't think I'd be that interested in Arden but after going to the open day it's really opened up my mind and made me realise it's an amazing, amazing university. They have so many different people from different backgrounds coming in as well. Everyone's had different experiences. I spoke to one of the lecturers towards the end of the musical theatre workshop about dance because that's my struggle, that's my weakness. He did tell me that I just need to do as many dance classes as I can now and I just need to work on it thoroughly. We spoke about the audition process and for the audition process you'll have two songs, two contrasting songs, you'll have a dance workshop and then you'll find out whether you get through or not and then you'll do your monologue. Well, I'd love to study there. The building is gorgeous, it's just such a nice environment and it's really professional as well.